Hello there, here is a video on custom NPCs wearing armor and uh, using it. What we have here is three examples. Um, the armor they're wearing will give them protection as well as it will wear out. So what, uh, obviously this guy with no armor on the end here, so he's got a standard 20 health, so I've got a trident that will do 8 damage, so uh, I can kill him in three hits, that's 24 damage, that easily kills him. So these two guys uh, handle the armor in slightly, well, somewhat two different methods, but it's basically the same. Um, I'll show you this guy, what you want to do when you put armor on them. You want to, uh, this line right here, you uncomment it, and that will initialize him, and you will say bye, and then you want to go in again and comment that out. There's probably a more automated way of doing it, but I did this a while ago and I just really haven't maybe polished it up the way it should be. Um, but in this script here, uh, what that does, the first time he initialized, he it went through each piece of his armor and set it to the default values of what it should be um, because he had a full set of, of brand new armor so uh, diamond armor has toughness all the other armors don't but and then this is a durability and this is the amount of protection that it would give uh, someone and then it puts that into the variables and then every time he takes damage those numbers are changed um, pretty straightforward now what I want to do um, when I hit him it uh, shows the amount of uh, the, the, uh, the strength of his leather helmet right now. So when the durability of it gets down to zero, it will um, it will disappear. So I just uh, I'll probably cut some of this out and then just skip to the end. The uh, leather helmet there has only five durability left. Um, if we look at it, it will probably say four actually because yeah because that's always one behind for some reason I'm not sure if it's rounding errors or what but um, if I hit him with just my hand it will do one damage and if I hit it with the trident it will do two and there uh, there it goes it's disappeared right there <laughs> it's it, it uh, wore out completely so um, that's the way that works. Now then, he doesn't have a helmet, and I'm going to go to creative, and we will have a little battle here. Let me get up to full health, and uh, and I'll show you that it uh, he will report how much damage. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing 2.97, and it's going to take me considerably more. than uh, three hits. Um, whoops, it took me, well, let me see, 10, 10 or 11 hits, I think because he was healing along the way a little bit maybe. So, and that's the way that goes, and that's probably, that's showing the damage to his to his chest plate then. And he just about killed me. I need to uh, get some more <laughs> health back here to fight the other guy. Now then, this guy uh, does a little more sophisticated way of determining the uh, his armor's uh, statistics. Uh, over on tab 2 I have the damage 1. This is the same pretty much as the uh, other guy except I just split that one into tab 2 to separate them. Now this one, what it does, it uh, uses the obfuscated um, methods because they're not actually methods currently in custom NPCs. So it gets the uh, damage reduction of the armor and it gets the toughness. The durability can be gotten from the max item of the damage, the get max item damage um, method. So 
that's really nice if you're using um, obviously uh, if you're using armor from other uh, mods like custom NPCs you know this is the emerald armor there's a number of different armors that uh, that come with custom NPCs okay I thought there was another tab there yeah so there are a number of uh, obviously um, different armors that you could have here uh, necrome boots I'm interesting okay so and that will get the values from that so it it will work with other mod mods too to uh, get the proper values and this guy also has the uh, res the initialization yeah right initialization uh, trick that you have to do there with that to just make sure that he has the right values and they're not changed every time he's reinitialized if you uh, go out go out of the game and come back in again if you're in single player or something like that so um, I'll just go through and, and uh, have a little battle with this guy and you can see how many times uh, it takes if I don't die first uh, to uh, kill him but uh, his helmet is at full strength as you see, I didn't hit him with a fully charged... Oh, there we go. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Uh, and you can see I'm only doing 2.24 damage. And the other guy I was doing almost, yeah, 2.97. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine, nine hits at full strength, and about three or four at uh, less, about a quarter strength. So it takes a number of. So you can see that the uh, armor is protecting them quite well. Um, so that's a nice little addition to custom NPCs to uh, provide uh, more, more realistic um, armor. Uh, to them, and uh, you can see that this guy, um, his helmet has been damaged. Uh, you could make it for it damages each piece of armor, so actually uh, some of the damage um, I don't currently have, like if he's got one <laughs> durability left on this and he takes three damage, it's not going to necessarily go to the chest plate until the next damage uh, event happens so you might lose a couple uh, damages uh, there and that's uh, I didn't make a, a I didn't account for that in the script uh, that's something that maybe somebody could add uh, and post it post a link to their uh, improvement to this um, that's it and thanks for watching